Welcome to the most requested video on my channel. Today we are finally making deep conditioners. I'm going to show you how to make real deep conditioners formulated with potent natural ingredients that can rival anything you could buy in a store. Hi guys and welcome to Whole Elise. I'm Elise and today we're going deep. Deep into the driest of hair strands and resurrecting them back to life with the ultimate natural hair treatment, deep conditioners. This is going to be a two-part series. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make natural hair masks formulated with a combination of clays, oils, butters, and alcohol, but don't worry, not the bad kind. And in next week's video, I'm going to show you how to combine oils, water, and protein that can make a deep conditioner that can actually restore and revive your hair. This is going to be a deep dive into natural hair conditioning products. So make sure you're subscribed with that notifications bell so you get alerted as soon as my next video comes out. Okay, let's just get straight into it. When it comes to ingredients, we're going to pile them high and lay it thick. We'll add more later, but our base is a deeply nourishing mixture of shea butter, mango butter, and coconut oil. Shea butter is well renowned for its moisturizing and healing properties that can protect against split ends and breakage. We're also using mango butter that has a lower melting point than shea, so it effortlessly absorbs into your hair, providing nutrients and shine. And coconut oil, considered the most effective oil at protecting your hair from protein loss, reduces the risk of breakage and strengthens your strands. Measure out your shea butter, coconut oil, mango butter, olive oil, jojoba oil, castor oil, and cereal alcohol. There are quite a few ingredients in this hair mask recipe, especially if you're new to formulating your own natural hair care products. So to go along with this video, I've written a beginner's guide to making hair masks that take you through everything from how hair masks work, to who should use them, a detailed breakdown on each ingredient including cereal alcohol, and any substitutions that you can make to ingredients that you don't have. My website also includes a formula calculator to help you customise this recipe to suit your unique hair's needs. I've worked really hard to make this accessible for all levels and I've also included links on where you can purchase natural ingredients. So if you do have any questions, definitely check out the full hair mask guide at holderlease.com. It will be linked in the description box below. Hair masks are rich, thick conditioning treatments that typically don't contain water, but instead use a combination of oils, butters, and waxes. This is why they're usually much more concentrated than traditional conditioners. And because hair masks are applied before shampoo, you can really go to town with all those rich moisturizing agents, and you don't need to worry about it being too greasy or weighing your hair down. The combination of oils that I use in this recipe can penetrate into the hair shaft. That not only helps with moisture, but it can help with things like breakage and damage, and also boosting shine and the overall appearance of your hair. We're starting with hair masks because it's a great introduction into making your own deep conditioners. You can make something that's incredibly moisturizing and amazing for your hair, but because it doesn't include water, we don't need to go as far as adding in preservatives and emulsifiers. First off, syrup alcohol is not the alcohol that you hear horror stories about and you genuinely want to avoid in your cosmetics. Fatty alcohols like cereal are completely different compounds to ethanol, drinking alcohol, or any other type of alcohol that is known for drying out or damaging your skin. Fatty alcohols are typically naturally derived and they're used as emollients to help thicken, provide that all-important slip, and also stabilize products. Cereal alcohol is that secret ingredient that will help give our hair mask that luxurious, silky feeling and make it easier to work for our hair strands. It also helps smooth the cuticle down for less frizz and longer lasting moisture. Now that we've measured out our ingredients, we'll prepare them in two stages. In a heat proof bowl, combine your shea butter, mango butter, coconut oil, and cereal alcohol. Over a low heat, gently melt your base until it's completely clear. Next up, we'll move on to other active ingredients we'll need to make the ultimate conditioning hair mask. If you've ever had problems working a product through your hair, or maybe you just find it difficult to detangle with, it's likely that that product lacks slip. Slip simply refers to how viscous or how easily a product is able to glide through your hair. And it is one of the most important components in formulating products geared towards natural or curly hair types. And in my opinion, it is sometimes overlooked when it comes to hair products. 
Now slip is for everyone and it can be enjoyed by all hair types. It actually protects your hair. By lubricating each strand, it makes knots, tangles and tears far less likely when you're detangling your hair. But particularly for Afro textured hair, I wanted to make sure that I included this in my tutorials because it can make all the difference when it comes to protecting our hair. To your liquid base, we're going to add the oils we measured out earlier. Pour in the olive oil, jojoba oil and castor oil. To ensure that the oils are completely combined, briefly mix together with an immersion blender. Once done, set aside in the fridge for 30 minutes or until it has completely cooled. Next up, clay. And our final active ingredient in this hair mask is bentonite clay. Now if you've never heard of bentonite clay before, you must have been living under a rock which is all the more surprising considering that bentonite clay is actually formed from rocks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Bentonite clay is a natural healing clay that is formed from volcanic ash and it has two main properties that we're going to focus on today that make it a great ingredient to include in hair masks. The first is its ability to remove impurities. Because it's negatively charged, like a magnet, it can attract positively charged substances like dirt or buildup that reside in our hair and scalp. So not only will our hair mask be an incredible conditioner, but it will also have some clarifying properties because of the inclusion of bentonite clay. And the second is bentonite clay's own moisturizing abilities. It's able to condition as well as reduce frizz in your hair, which is great for curl definition, but also providing you with that long lasting shine that continues on even after we rinse out our hair mask. Bentonite clay is also great for your scalp as well due to it containing antimicrobial properties, and that will help with things like dandruff and flaking. Now our hair mask will still be incredible even without the bentonite clay, but if you are interested in a few of the properties that I named, it is worth including. The final set of ingredients is where our hair mask really starts to come together. This is an oil-based recipe, so we don't need to worry about using a preservative, but vitamin E is an important antioxidant to include in your hair care to prevent your oils from turning rancid. In addition to vitamin E, we can also add in any essential oils. I'm using a blend of rosemary, lavender, grapefruit and orange to give this hair mask a wonderful fragrance but they also have their own unique benefits for the hair. Feel free to add in your own oils or you can skip this step entirely if you prefer to have a fragrance free mask. And lastly the bentonite clay. To avoid the clay clumping together it's easier to add bentonite clay now when your hair mask is cooled and thicker. Mix together with a whisk so that all the clay is mixed into the hair mask. Now I started with a hand whisk but I soon upgraded to something with a little more kick because I don't have the forearm strength or the patience to whisk all day. Now at this point you could just plop this into a container and be done. But you should pop this back into the fridge so that the mask firms up a little bit before we can whip it. Similar to a body butter, by incorporating a little air into your mask, you'll get a light and creamy mask that glides across your hair. Now that the mask is firmer, it'll whip up nicely and has more volume. At this point, you can pour it into your container of choice, but don't go just yet. There are a few things you need to know when applying your conditioning hair mask. So unlike with conditioners, hair masks are applied before shampoo. Now you've seen firsthand all of the oils, butters and incredible ingredients that we pat into our hair mask. So that is why you will need to use a shampoo to remove any excess product after your hair has reached max absorption. Now I have heard that you can apply hair masks to dry hair, but that is not something that I'm going to verify because I already know that that is not for my hair. However, if that's something that you do, do let me know in the comments down below and tell me how you find it. I personally recommend that you apply this to damp hair, so once your hair is fully saturated with water, simply squeeze out the excess and then apply your hair mask. The water lifts the outer cuticle layer of your hair, making it easier for it to absorb more product. In addition to that, the bentonite clay actually activates in the water, so in order for you to get the full effect of this hair mask, it's much better for your hair to be wet. How long you choose to leave this on your hair is entirely up to you, I am not here to judge. I would recommend an hour, but this does actually work as an overnight treatment. 
just make sure to wrap your hair beforehand because you do not want to wake up to half of your mask being on your pillow. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is a two-part series into deep conditioning hair treatments, but make sure you are subscribed with that notifications bell because next week we're diving into making emulsions and using active ingredients like protein. This is where we start to make deep conditioning treatments that can actually restore and revive our hair. Watch this space for my next deep conditioner tutorial, but in the meantime, check out these other natural hair care DIYs.